Jason Sturpey, one of our students, needed a centrifugal fan for a project he's working on. So he tore apart some vacuum cleaners, figured out how they work, and he designed and built his own centrifugal fan, and this is it. Uh, connected to this bolt and underneath is a motor, and that spins this rotating element or impeller. So the air enters here, the impeller catches it, and then the air comes out here, and then goes out the discharge pipe. Let's look in detail at the impeller. Okay, we're looking at the rotor from a centrifugal blower. And um, this is in a housing or shroud, but basically the air enters here. This is spinning. And then the, these blades here catch the air. And they fling the air outward, and then the air comes out here, guided by the blades. We can get this spinning and feel the air coming out side to sides. This spins like this. Okay, the first problem I'd like you to work on is what is the relationship between torque to rotate the impeller clockwise and the pressure that is acting in the interior passageways of the impeller. Again, what is the relationship between torque to rotate the impeller and pressure in the interior passageways of the impeller? Go ahead and pause the video and work on this. Okay, here's problem number two. I have three students working on this design project, and they can use your help. And I'd like you to tell them, what is the process for applying dimensional analysis? How would we use dimensional analysis to characterize the performance of this blower? And how would we use dimensional analysis to improve the performance?